the U.S. Library of Congress, has digitized hundreds of thousands of newspapers ranging back hundreds of years. They are treasure troves of forgotten information. Input buried cities for example, and you get hundreds of examples of a reality that has been quite literally covered up. Many of these articles are more than 100 years old. Buried cities and landscape grids of New Mexico. Let's start in New Mexico, said to have been inhabited by the native Anasazi tribe. The article highlights the discovery of a buried city of remarkable size and architecture, discovered about 75 miles from Gallup, by land inspector S.J. Holsinger, who described this find as one of the most remarkable of the age. This discovery happened by chance, when Arizona prospectors hunting for coal and minerals, stumbled upon a massive buried city in Cacho Canyon. The news, attracted New York capitalists who saw commercial potential. A team of 40 men is excavating the site and selling pottery from the ruins in New York, which is doing exceptionally well. The government, aware of this activity, dispatched Agent Holsinger from Phoenix to take control of the property and preserve it as a national park. Holsinger reports one of the buildings uncovered has 1,000 rooms, making it the largest structure found in the world. The quality of the pottery suggests the inhabitants were highly intelligent and capable. The article provides much to reflect on. New York businessmen, looting and selling the goods. The government, competing with the businessmen to get their hands on the loot. And a structure so grand, it was called the largest building ever. Today, Chaco Canyon, which is 75 miles from Gallup, shows only few ancient ruins on the surface. It's been designated a national park, much of it is now off-limits. Tourists are herded to the place you see in this image, and there's no mention of subterranean cities. A government document titled A Brief History of Chaco Culture National Historical Park admits that subterranean dwellings were built in the area, and also that they were looted and vandalized. In 1906, the Federal Antiquities Act was passed, which forbid any outsider from further exploration. A bird's eye view reveals perfectly straight boxes and lines drawn into the landscape by an unknown civilization. Explaining these lines is a topic for a future video. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. There is some evidence of what I call molten rock, structures that look like they were artificial, but molten by some unknown means. Perhaps some type of laser or directed energy weapon. I recently posted a video showing how mere sunlight when focused can melt and burn rock. Here's a photo I pulled from Google titled Chakin Stairway. This is another one in Chaco called Jackson Staircase. And now secret subterranean city below Chaco Canyon is not unlikely, because New Mexico has many known subterranean structures. Consider, these near Santa Fe. This housing leads to an underground city, but the tunnels have been sealed off, for reasons presumably to do with things explained in the video about trade with subterranean people in the Middle Ages. This is at the Bandlier National Monument. Notice the melted look of the structure. And you know what? The molten look is common around the world. Artifacts of value are quickly carried away. This old news snippet is a reminder. We see a report about a large ancient structure believed to be a temple or amphitheater. It measures 200 feet wide by 300 feet long and 10 to 20 feet high. This structure has barely been excavated as the local antiquarian society aims to protect it from looters. However, around six years prior, a group claiming to represent the Smithsonian Institute conducted an excavation. They discovered pottery, engraved tablets, and stone tools, which they supposedly sent to the Institute. Yet, later developments suggest that these items never reached the government collection. It's also rumored that these men found a significant amount of gold. We keep coming across stories of the Smithsonian Institute removing artifacts that were never seen again, including the skeleton of giants, dwarves, and dragons. These images show structures attributed to the Pueblo culture. But this article speaks of buildings that are distinct from that culture. Here, it's reported that Professor Burson allegedly discovered a buried city near El Paso, New Mexico. If true, it wouldn't surprise anyone familiar with the area's archaeology. 
Professor Longermayer claims that New Mexico is full of buried towns, distinguishable from Pueblo ruins, due to their better construction quality. One such town was discovered in San Mateo, Valencia County, partially excavated by Honorable Amado Chavez by accident. Another site was found at Aguja del Ojo, also in Valencia County. Sheriff A.B. Laird uncovered ancient structures with perfectly preserved petrified corn in Sierra County. There were also ancient petrified forests in Socorro County, one of which shows signs of an ancient druidic place of worship. I spent some time looking for these structures in San Mateo, but found only wilderness. There is an uranium mine nearby. The mine is inactive and off-limits to outsiders due to hazardous conditions and radioactive materials. I also found no place called Aguja del Ojo in today's Valencia County, New Mexico. Someone would have to do more digging into the history of Valencia County to find out where that is. But there is evidence of the ancient grid, and it can be seen on Google Earth. In the previous video, I showed how Australia is overlaid with grid-like cell lines. Here's similar in New Mexico. Sometimes, modern streets are built on top of a strange ancient grid. I'll focus on the ancient grids in a future video. This video is just an introduction to something I find really fascinating. If you find it interesting, I'll continue in part 2. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.